Namaste, Sashriyakar, Salam Alaikum, Grüß Gott. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Today's topic is about getting started with deep reinforcement learning. Deep reinforcement learning, you know, it's a combination of two things. It's deep learning, training and deploying deep neural networks, and it is reinforcement learning, teaching your agent proper behavior with rewards. Of course, again, you have a huge theoretical, mathematical background when it comes to deep reinforcement learning. In order to getting started, it's not really necessary to first grab a book about mathematics and learn it. The first thing you should do is getting practical experiences, really getting started with training your first deep reinforcement learning agents. What is an agent, you may ask? Agent is an important concept, is something that is inside an environment, so maybe a physics simulation, a computer game, or even a data center, and it can interact with the environment via sensors, where it can perceive what is actually currently going on, and it can interact with actuators. This is something where it can perform actions inside the environment. And in deep reinforcement learning, you also get rewards. So every time your agent does something right, it gets a positive reward, and every time it does something wrong, it gets a negative reward. Simple as that. These are the core concepts you should always keep in mind when doing deep reinforcement learning. If you want to start practically with deep reinforcement learning, the first thing you should have a look at is OpenAI Gym. OpenAI Gym is a collection of different environments with different purposes. Ranges from computer games to 2D and 3D physics simulations and even has robotics in it. Many, many environments for you to train your agents in. I've been using OpenAI Gym for quite a while now and for me it has many, many advantages. The first advantage is it has a contract means that it has a certain convention when it comes to the API. How to perceive the environment, how to interact with the environment, how to get rewards. It's all the same API and you might imagine it makes it very easy to take one agent and connect it to another environment because, well, it's still the same contract. You have to change a little bit, maybe the underlying neural network because you have more or less actions. Maybe you have to change the input of the neural network because now you perceive more or less. But in its essence, the one and the very same API allows you to plug in one and the same agent into different environments with just minor changes. Why is it good to have an API? You know, is reusability. Because you provide people with a contract, which people immediately understand, helps you doing transfer learning on your level means that you can easily crack multiple environments. Very good thing. I started doing a couple of environments on my own, so it's even easy to create your own environments. You just have to adhere to this API. For me, it usually means that I go on the internet and I search for OpenAI Gym and then some name. Um, it might be interesting for you. There is an environment that is compatible to the old classic computer game Doom which I always talk about, also for this famous game Flappy Bird. Recently I saw SimCity, there is connectors to driving simulators, I heard even a rumor about the train simulator, there's so many things around that you can, can use. It's fantastic times for deep reinforcement learning. The second thing, which might be very, very interesting for you, is how to create your intelligent agents in deep reinforcement learning. You can go down the road and read famous papers about AlphaGo, AlphaGo Zero, Alpha Zero, all those deep reinforcement learning algorithms that had a lot of successes in the past years and re-implement it. I tell you, I did it. Not all of them, a handful of them. It's quite nice as a programming challenge. It's very interesting sometimes a little frustrating because your agents at the beginning are usually very stupid, sometimes even very rewarding because at the end of the day if you do everything right your agent is very good at solving your tasks. Recently I decided that I have learned enough about uh, 
programming theory of deep reinforcement learning and I started reusing things. Today, because about democratization of AI, everything you need is available because, well, everything usually comes in a GitHub repo or some Python package that you can install. The Python package I fell in love with when it comes to deep reinforcement learning is Keras RL. Keras RL comes with seven deep reinforcement learning agents and the best thing about Keras RL is it is 100% compatible with OpenAI Gym. Means that assuming that you find a very, very nice environment online, for example, Flappy Bird, then you just connect it with Keras RL, which has some very, very nice example scripts. You can just change them a little, plug in a new environment, and then you train it. I did the experiment recently. I wanted to retrain my Flappy Bird agent it took me around 15 minutes to set up a training script and it took me around eight hours of training the agent on Amazon Web Services on a GPU and at the end my agent was quite good. This is the getting started to deep reinforcement learning. I urge you, go to the internet, have a look at OpenAI Gym because you always need environments in deep reinforcement learning and second of all, just for getting started, do many, many experiments with Keras RL, which provides you with the agent site. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel and feel free to browse through the description where I provide you with more links of your interest. Thank you very much. Bye bye.